My name is David Rosenblum, and I am the Director of Pain Management at Remindless Medical Center, AABP Integrative Pain Care in New York. We have multiple physicians and locations and treat a wide variety of pain problems. I treat pain patients in my Brooklyn practice and my Great Neck practice and have partners in Manhattan, Westchester, Queens, and New Jersey. Since 2007, I've been teaching pain physicians and other physicians how to perform nerve blocks, regional anesthesia procedures, and interventional pain procedures. More recently, ultrasound and regenerative medicine procedures such as bone marrow aspirate or mesenchymal cells and platelet-rich plasma injections. This video describes the technique a physician could use for platelet-rich plasma or PRP injection into the plantar fascia. The plantar fascia injection can be painful, and in this video I'm detailing how I anesthetize the region prior to injecting PRP. If you're located in the New York area and you're looking to see a physician for pain management, you can go to aabppain.com or reach out to me at drosenblum at rmcpain.com. This patient suffering from plantar fasciitis related to a heel spur, I'm going to give her a PRP injection, platelet-rich plasma, to reduce inflammation and promote healing. Prior to doing that, I'm going to give her a tibial nerve block to reduce the pain so that I don't need to put any local anesthetic with my PRP. I don't want anything to interfere with the activity of the PRP. So I'm going to go proximal to the tibial nerve, which innervates the medial and inferior aspect of the foot, and will hopefully give her enough anesthesia for the procedure. So, to find the tibial nerve, I'm locating the medial malleolus. I visualize the nerve next to the artery. And one option is to go towards the tarsal tunnel, which is over here. We have Tom, Dick, and Harry, tibialis posterior, followed by flexor digitorum, and then flexor hallucis longus. With the tibial nerve in between them. Another option is to go more proximal for the tibial nerve and follow it up in the ankle. So to the right of the screen, we see the Achilles tendon. We're going to give her a little vapor coolant spray for skin anesthesia. A little pinch. So as you see here is my needle, it's surrounding the nerve. The black around the needle is the local anesthetic. Now we're going to image the plantar fascia. I put my probe underneath the calcaneus. The fat pad is the most superficial, followed by the beginning of the plantar fascia. As I scan distally, you see the fascia. I'm going to turn my probe transverse. And my point is anterior to the calcaneus. That's where I enter my needle, aiming towards the center of her foot. The plantar fascia is this layer right here. So now I'm going to insert the PRP, aiming for the plantar fascia. Little pinch, Regina. Okay. Feel that? 
Very little. Good. And you can see my needle entering into the fascia. I'm depositing the PRP superior to the fascia as well as into the fascia. If there's resistance, I'm not injecting. And you may be a little sore here after, but it's going really well. Nice and smooth. Nice. This is a nice. this is the way it should feel. Mm -hmm. So basically this patient underwent a tibial nerve block prior to the PRP injection. The PRP was injected into the plantar fascia, which can be a painful shot. The tibial nerve block alleviated the symptoms or the pain of the injection. The PRP is now on the plantar fascia. It may take a few days to weeks to work, but will hopefully give her pain relief superior to that of steroids.